Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll teach you this amazing 3D render from Max by using Phoenix FD. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, right now in 3ds Max version 2.0.2.1, the most latest version and for this kind of render, you need at least a 3D model, which is a pre-rigged. So I am using this model. So let's play the model first. So this is a very good camera animation and also a rigged character, which is I am using from Miaxama.com. It's completely free. You can go and use there any models. Link is in description box below that site. You can go and download. Okay, so now we have to go to our Phoenix FD part. So from here, we have to go to this Phoenix FD mode. Now I'm selecting these four many options from this fire smoke simulation. Just just click here go to all w and go to this top view now drag this much area to be my model should be inside of this box so just drag this much and let's it like this okay so now what you have to do you have to check that your model is should be inside of that box make sure that your box should not be too much big and also too much short so we have created our basic grid successfully so the basic grid should be look like this when you play the character it will obviously inside of that box now you have to add a helper to generate the fire so you have to go to this option which is called our helpers from here you have to select our phoenix fd mode where you can find these many options and from these many options i'm selecting this source just click and drag so it will create a fire source so from here i have to add this character so go through this move tool and i have to go to this editable mode and from here you have to select the add and let's select the model so now what happened this model is right now added on this option so guys the basic settings are done now you have to go through with other settings which can help to create very good smoke and also a very good fire from this fire source we have to change several settings which is this one motion velocity should be on because when the character is moving the smoke and the fire should be follow with that motion so that's why turn on this motion velocity by default it will turn on so don't turn this off and the amount should be one is good enough now go to this phoenix fd box now you have to change some options from here which is the cell size now in here you can find the cell size is one centimeter let's make it to two centimeter because i don't want to be a very large render time so let's make it two centimeter right now the particles are this much which is pretty good enough now we have to jam the particles within z axis so from z i'm making to jammed minus so means what happens when the smoke will generate it will not go under the grid now go to down here you have to find the dynamics partition option when you turn this on you can find this many options now you have to change some settings here which is very much important so from here i'm just decreasing the motion gravity which is like let's take around 0.1 now the time scale let's make it from 0.6 because i want this animation should be a little slow motion and after that the cooling is 0.5 is good enough and now to talk about the smoke dispersion which is like how much time the smoke should be there and how much time the smoke will disappear so from this case i'm using 0.3 like 0.3 is the value where the smoke will be disappear now you can change your smoke bounce let's take around 0.1 and let's change the cooling also 0.1 because i don't want the my fire should be cooled enough okay so now go to this option which is called massive velocity you have to change some settings from these areas as well the smoking surface 0.3 so let it be and the large scale it let's make around 0.3 uh, 70 because it should be a large number so uh, let's make around 0.71 okay this is fine now talking about the randomized option the amount should be 0.5 dynamics is one is good enough now from the fluidity conversion you should change it from direct symmetry to direct smooth and let's change the quality to 8 from like 15 because it should be higher number of samples and from here the multi passes let's take around like uh, is good enough now go to the fill option you don't need to turn on this one scene interaction there is nothing is the output also if you want to turn on the velocity you can check this on but in case i don't want to be checked but make sure the simulation cache should be saved in different folders so that you can use it other time when you really need that now go to this preview option where you can find these many options now if you want to see the previews inside of your 3ds max while it's doing previewing so just you have to go to this option gpu preview just turn this on so that what happens when the preview will be starting you can exactly see that preview inside of this 3ds max now go to this rendering option where you can find these many options which is exactly controls to create some schools fire and smoke go to this volumetric option and from here the smoke capacity from this case i'm making to 0 0.c the opacity so I'm making it to like 0.9 and the smoke color is like constant color which is a basic normal one and the fire color is as much as default okay so the all settings are done let's play the simulation and let's see how it look like so guys I have done few frames as a simulation so if you can see this will be look like after simulation 
now what you have to do you have to go to your render settings you have to give some lights and obviously you have to render for this case i used vray light which is from here vray and i used this vray sun which is a pretty good output and it will give you a very good result as well and the when the rendering process exactly will be done it will look like this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple tutorial from 3ds max by using phoenix fd and if you really love our videos then don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe to channel vfx world i will give you more interesting interesting content and tutorial in future definitely for that follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below now guys give me some permission to go i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching bfx world